Yo guys, what's going on? This specimen here. I cannot believe the time has finally come for me to break the meta with Arch Griffin. Now, I'm kind of joking because it's not going to break the meta. It is going to be a fun deck, but I'm going to try and make this as competitive as possible. And the inspiration for this deck comes from the pro ladder where somebody played a 94 point Arch Griffin against me and I lost by a single point. It was pretty upsetting. So I've tried to replicate the deck and I've kind of made a few changes here and there. The main premise of the deck is we're going to try and win round one. We're using Pincer Maneuver and Devotion. Uh, Devotion gives us access to the Marines, which are a really nice card, obviously, with Arch Griffin. We're going to try and win round one, probably using Foltest, which is a new card, as well as the Dumbanners. Foltest also benefits um, from the uh, Devotion. He's going to be getting an extra point per turn. Hopefully our opponent's then going to be baited into passing. What we're then going to do in round two, we're going to have a Defender. We're going to have um, the Arch Griffin with things like the Marines, the Drummers, the Anna, and most importantly, the Visigotta. We also have Priscilla who can give uh, Visigotta two charges per turn. All these charges are going to end up being used on Arch Griffin. But they're not all just going to go on Arch Griffin. We're going to be splitting the boosts up onto three different cards. Onto the Griffin. Onto a Ranger, which is going to be able to transfer its boosts over to the Griffin. And onto the money card, the Cohen. Now what this guy that I played against did was they boosted the Cohen, the Arch Griffin and a Ranger all up to the same amount of points. They went down like four cards in round two. Uh, and then they clicked the Cohen, boosting the Arch Griffin again by like another... Let's say you boost Cohen up to 10, you'd boost the Arch Griffin and the Ranger by 7 points each. What they then did is they then used their Visigotta charges to put Cohen up back to where the Ranger and the and the Griffin were. And they used Varaxus on the Cohen, boosting them each, the Ranger and the Griffin, by like 14 more points. And then you can use the Ranger to move the boost over to the Arch Griffin. And my opponent then had a 90 point Griffin. They played Erland in round three uh, as an immune card and they sucked off the boost and they had 94 points. I ended up losing by a point. I got 93 points. So I was pretty impressed and we're going to give it a spin. Let's go. All right, first game, Inspired Zeal. Let's have it. We have the fall test. We have the Dun Banners. Now one downside is we can't really go Defender in this round because we need it to protect our Griffin. So we're going to have to find a way to thin the Dumb Banners. Obviously, Drama's kind of awkward. I guess we could just go Crystal Skull Drama, but it seems a bit weird. Let's lose the, the Griffin Witcher Ranger. We actually want to Assault into this card because it boosts it, and then we can use that on, on Visigotta. Oh, we could just flip in Crystal Skull. Let's do that. Nice. So yeah, we're going to go for Foltest next. It is definitely unfortunate that he can get clapped. I'm going to go for it. He can obviously get Selkirked. I, I can't invest the defender. And Foltest is four points per turn. What a gangster. Oh. This is unfortunate because uh, Conquered and Chatter said I could have used Crystal Skull for Foltest, which, yeah, okay, look, all right, yes. Okay, yes, I could have done that. But I needed to get the Dumb Banners out. What else was I going to do? How else was I going to, what, just play a Dumb Banner proactively? No. Sounds bad. But yes, it's gone a little bit wrong, but it is what it is. Yeah, Foltest is just... Pretty scary. But never mind. He got locked. I'm gonna go for the Anna. Maybe I should have Mulligan like the Erland as he's just a round three card. But I Mulligan the Rangers, which I don't want either here. Right, let's hope this forces them out. And it got zeal from the Siege Support. They haven't passed, which is a bit sad. They squirrel us. So we've lost Assault access. How do they do the points here, though? Hello? Just me? 
How is it that they do the points? We could go for a leader charge and then just play like a flipping marine or something. Like we really don't want to pass. We really want to win the round. We could also just play the Erland and say that we'll just put <laughs> just put the Griffin in hand, but obviously that means we would just lose the Baron or Heatwave. I really think passing is a mistake here. Taking an extra point to play further into a heat wave is pretty dodge. Actually, go for the Vernon here. I mean, I'm just going to pass for sure. I guess this leader did give them this. Oh. We still get the pass. Hasn't gone fantastically well here. I must confess, this fault test getting locked was pretty bad. It's almost as if I should have given Faltest the Crystal Skull. He still would have just died to Selkirk though, so it's actually kind of not even true. Like Selkirk onto Faltest would have been a rip. E-Wave gone is pretty good as an Arch Griffin player. Now, here's where Arch Griffin gets awkward, because if our opponent dry passes us, like what do we actually do, right? Hello, Sky. Yeah, I thought about it. But who knew decks for people that just don't believe in the power of the Cohen Varaxis? Hmm. Hmm. Please don't pass. Don't pass. Play the cards. Please. Nice. Let's go. Big moment. Big, big, big moment in this one. Can get the defender down. We just stay ahead now. We just stay ahead. So we do have to use a leader charge, maybe. Hmm. Not ideal, is it? Like, there's nothing I even want to put in my hand here. I mean, we could say this Griffin Witcher Ranger just isn't worth it, and I could take the Kira, maybe. Obviously, we wanted to boost this with Cohen, though, but I think it's honestly fine to get. I need to get ahead, so. Maybe I didn't need to get ahead. Maybe this was a mistake. Probably was a mistake. Now we just have to top deck the Erland or the Arch Griffin as well. We lose. But we'll find one of them. Now the fact that our opponent is still playing is actually just hilarious. I don't want to reveal that we've got Arch Griffin just yet. But I do also need to get the Kira down. So... Hmm... Seems like the play. Now we can actually boost our opponent's units as well. So this Pavetta could go to an 8. Put everything to 7 for the Cohen. It's not too bad. Really don't... I re really wish I didn't have the, this Kira in hand though. And it was just the Ranger. The Ranger was just is actually so much better here than Kira. Kira is kind of a sad card honestly. I 
Okay. So now we click the Cohen. Again, imagine we had a flipping Ranger. And now we boost the Cohen back to 11. Maybe I could have done this better, right? I think I could have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ah, here's what it is. I guess I should just be going for the rain, the Arch Griffin maximum points though, right? Which I probably didn't do here. I didn't actually need the points on like the flipping Donomir and shit. So this was just done by me, but never mind. Still, look at this. We have a 23 point Griffin. We could even play the Kira for an extra points on it, but we'll, we'll take the pass. I misplayed this right for sure. I needed the Ranger. It was our first game with it though. We're only down one card. Nice. Mm, not very nice. No. Come on. Erland Griffin. No. no. <sighs> Let Shouldn't have used this damn leader charge, man. Mistakes were made. Right, let's go again. Everything has its price. The question is, is it worth it? This is not good for YouTube. Mm. I mean, it's probably not going to be on YouTube in that first game. This Kira is not looking too hot, is she? I mean, she's looking hot, guys, but she's not looking too hot in the deck. Right, let's kick the Erland. We've got the Fall Test. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, we don't want the range around one. Uh, that looks kind of good, but I don't want this Priscilla here. I don't think. Kind of need some more proactivity, right? I mean, I'm just going to do this again. Baltas can get locked, sure, but if if we boost him, he just, it just gives him very more points. All right, Adelia seems like a much better fit than this me uh, than this Kira, right? I think we need to try and squeeze in a provision to fit in Adelia, because Adelia proactively would just be sorting out a lot of our problems. We can go Adelia into a drummer, get that instant value, and then we could put the dumb banners next to it. Something like that, anyway. Would be a motive. A daily is also just like a, a decent card with Marine in it. She's four buff, a uh, four boost to Griffin, whereas here is six boost to Griffin, but it takes bloody ages. Okay, let's go for the fall test on the Dumbana. Such a good card. Already playing for eleven points. And demanding an answer. What a Chad card, mate. Rip. It got locked. Couldn't have seen this one coming. Couldn't have seen that coming. What? The soldier deck plays locks. These tridems are just looking so good here. Like, look at the amount of damage they're going to be able to go uh, get done here. Our opponent is going to be fearing the Tridem as soon as it enters the board. Just trying to get out of the round. Just put as much pressure on and win the round as soon as possible. As soon as possible. Oh! Uh. Alright! Uh, yeah! We're up! Uh, uh, uh! Okay! Guys, here's the question. Do they have another lock? Because if they don't, we could just play the Griffin. They never have another lock. Never. Impossible. They would have already used it. Griffin comes back, so this is just carry over. They don't have another one. I don't believe it. Now, our Marine is only three tempo here. Victory is 
All right, we just have to pass. Because I, I'm just not going to be able to actually... Does Vitality... Yeah, Vitality account this boost. So we could play the Marine for just three points. But it's just not worth. Because all our cards that we can play are all boosting. There's like no way I can actually win this round with Kahir though. But I'm glad we, we have a, a 10 point Griffin. Rather than a 6 point Griffin. And Kahir's gone. That's pretty important. Unless they play Renew. Hope they don't. We got full leader from them too. Oh, look at that Griffin coming back to Daddy. Tridents are so bad in this matchup. Kick him. We have Defender from the leader. Yeah, I think we're going to ditch a Ranger and change Kira to a Dahlia. Seems like the motive. You really just want to assault for the Ranger, innit? So our opponent should not be playing on in this round. They're going to get completely dominated by the Griffin in round 3 if they do. But of course with the Defender opener, it seems as though that is the plan. Okay, this is quite scary. I must confess. We'll just play the Griffin when they pass or something, I guess. Uh, aren't Tridems just bad in this deck? They want to be boosted, but I think the way of looking at Tridems is they're just a four point, a four provision engine, which Northern Realms just doesn't have many of. And like, you're going to have Drummers and Anna, you can't boost all these things at the same time. That's the other thing that's quite important to remember. Another battle, another entry in the chronicle. Safe to say that Visigoth is going to be getting removed. But I thought it was still worth it. We probably go assault for a sergeant here. This does look like the deck I played actually with Yennefer. Alright, Vice of Gods is still alive, mate. He's still alive, but he's barely breathing. So we go Ranger and boost the Ranger here. Because the Ranger can boost the Griffin. And it can't they can't lock the Griffin. Okay. Here's Yes! I'm aware I'm overcommitting. Thank you for the heads up. Okay, so we can go Cohen off Assault. And we could go Leader for Varaxis. Is that ever worth it? I don't know. We're always going to do this first. I don't like men who turn me down. And I think we're going to save the Leader. Can we get Cohen in though? Assault for Cohen. Yeah. Okay. Yep, yeah, I'm 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 aware. Alright, we can buff one thing by four. Did I mess this up? I might have messed this up. I think I messed this up a bit, innit? I can buff one. Yeah, I messed this up. Shit. Never mind. We'll just boost, boost the Griffin afterwards. Okay, here we go. Whoa! Boost. Fifty-three point Griffin. Let's go. It's nowhere near as good as the. <laughs> The 94 point griffin I had against me. 
<laughs> but still, or well, the 90 point Griffin, because it was the Erland actually that, that was 94 points. What a hand. Wow. How could we lose? Hmm. <clears throat> How could we lose, dudes? <laughs> You're playing me right now. Brilliant. Great to see you in my stream while you're playing against me. That's uh, really good to hear. <laughs> Think this makes sense? Mm, Maybe a it doesn't. Specimen, truly. Flipping debt necker, like what? What? Why? What? what? Yeah, why would you say that? A superb specimen, truly. All right, Suffering. have we got the juice? Suffering, oh! oh no, he might guess with a random canter. Oh, don't say that. Okay, bye, Detnecker. It's been a pleasure, mate. If it's actually you, I mean, what's going on, mate? How do you even get a 90 point? That's with the with Varaxis. So if you imagine that same situation, but I had a Varaxis and like a double ranger, maybe. And like if it was the round was longer as well. You cross the wrong sources. Yes! I cannot be beaten. I cannot be beaten. Yes! Let's go! Yes! What? Guys, please don't do that. If you find you're out, you're playing against me, leave the stream. Um, Forever Yellow, you know. The play obviously was at open recently. Um, Chez lost 2 1, unfortunately, but then I played against. Ah, what was it? I can't remember the guy's name. My apologies. Um, and then Antonio at the same time was playing against uh, Carr, who's like a really good top 64, consistently finishing the top 64. Player. Yeah, fake, 2 0. Um, yeah, and we both won 2 0. Let's flipping go, man. Buzzing. All right, so again, round one is going to be key here. Start off like this. Not going to be streaming for much longer, guys, because I've got dinner. I try. I need to try and get to the gym, guys. I must say, my eating habits have been a bit better, but yeah, like the fact that I've got a gym membership for a year and I've been like three times for the whole year is like really dumb. Unfortunately, Fall Test gets clowned on by uh, Junior. We can boost him up once more. Could help. Just means they're going to have to spend. They can still kill him, but they have to spend. I'm happy to see the drill go, I must admit. Fine by me. Fortunately, we can't really kill it, which does put us in a bit of a precarious position. Playing on here doesn't seem to make much sense. They have no carryover. They're still going to push us in round two, and we'll just try and develop Griffin. I think that the fact that the, the drill's gone is actually really, really good for us. Like the worst... <laughs> Thing for the Griffin setup, right? If they get through Defender, they could have just clowned on us. Great to find Defender as well, saves us a leader charge. We find a Ranger, obviously, that's our second one. I think I'm gonna kick it though. I don't know, if, I mean, I do have Cohen in fairness, but yeah, I just want to try and find some more gold cards. It's the kind of card I probably would just be mulliganing anyway. Obviously, Assault is a card I need to put in hand, and probably the Varaxis. It's just a bit awkward, we've missed too many cards. It's 
quite a weird opening play, isn't it? I don't really have much choice but to just play the defender because I need to go Griffin next and it will just die to bloody good fun filler plus over if that happens. So obviously the pass is looking super tempting for them but I yeah, don't really do much about that. You know, if we have all our engines we might still win a long round with the fact they don't have drill even without the, the Griffin. Probably not, seeing as I used the defender, but I think I, I'm just going to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Obviously, I could have gone like down loads of cards, but I think I would just lose to this deck. Yep, we are one win, one loss. The loss wasn't wasn't that bad, honestly. We just needed a better round one. But yeah, we've missed Vice of God of Araxis. Assault and Erland. So we can go leader charge plus drummer here. Thank God it didn't let me do it in the order I wanted to. We ditch the uh, the death. And then we'll probably go for... Hmm. I guess we need to go Assault for the Sergeant or Assault for the uh, Vysigotto. Exactly, June. Yeah, I'm only playing one of them. But it's the same for Priscilla. We, we just give like Vysigotto charges. And then we want to boost Cohen essentially. We're going to be boosting Cohen, we're going to be boosting uh, a Ranger and the Griffin. Then we Cohen to boost the Ranger and the Griffin. Then we boost Cohen back up and we use Varaxis on him. And then we just transfer all the boost to the Arch Griffin. That is the intention, at least. So they went Payday again here. See if Silla is going to be doing much. This Cohen is looking pretty bad as well, isn't it? The other problem is it's just rolling. Like you can't use the charges yourself. I hope <laughs> it doesn't work with Fee, mate. I'll never be imprisoned again. Just much better cards to Philippa. Mm -hmm. So we no, no longer need to go for the um, sergeant off of assault, so we're just going to go for a marine. But I guess we go for Baraxas back row here while they don't have any coins in the bank. Cohen's got to go. And we go Baraxas first because the marine's a soldier. Also with the location, we want to use the location on whatever we're going to assault for, the marine. So we're probably going to go marine, Anna, location, marine, griffin. Alright, so Anna, we're going to click for Axis on the Marine. Probably just respect Tavern Brawl. Over here. We don't actually have any Witches at the moment. Uh... I respected Tavern Brawl, but I still died to it, which isn't ideal. Oops. 
Maybe I should have done this first. Two days of Pretty sad, isn't it? Pretty sad. Not looking great. Unsurprisingly, we've got a 10 for 9, which we had to invest a defender for. I guess this defender I played was just trolling, to be honest. We're going for the maximum griffin still. Rip, we lost. Round one just seems like it's all important with this deck for sure. If we win round one, we've probably got a chance without it, we just haven't. But at least we've got the 24 point Griffin for round four, that's pretty cool. Yeah, pain, sure, but pff, okay, well, I think we were going to lose this game no matter what happened. I, I can't I can't GG that, I'm sorry, I just can't.